Cinema Classics is brought to you by the Gateway Film Center at 1550 North High Street, Columbus, Ohio. Further details and showtimes online at gatewayfilmcenter.org. The award-winning Cinema Classics is produced by John DeSando and Johnny DiLoretto. Listen to the shows and read reviews online at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. Wow, what an intro. I'm Johnny DiLoretto. Well, this, this is Cinema, Cinema Classics. Classics, this is for sure. And, you know, could you call Matt Damon a classic yet? Do you think he's got, or let's say, do you think, in another 20, 30 years? Guess. Guess my answer. Your answer is no. Well, I don't know, in 20, 30 years, maybe. <laughs> well, he's got quite a body of work on He it. does. He has a respectable body of work. Yeah, yeah. He's a guy that, um, is, he's immensely likable, uh, both on and off screen. He's, you know, delightfully self-deprecating. Yep. Off screen. Uh, that makes him, you know, really appealing. Uh, he has shown a sort of steady hand in choosing uh, projects. So, like I said, he doesn't, he doesn't fly out. He's never flown off the handle uh, creatively. Um, he's wound up in some things that aren't terrific, but very few things that are truly classic. I think of the two that he has out currently are, are within the last few years are instructive of your point. Mm -hmm. The Martian, mm -hmm. which has a, a certain uh, humor to it, even yeah. though he's uh, abandoned on, on Mars. And, and I think that was has been a really good role for him. Then Jason Bourne, he's back again with Jason Bourne. Yeah. And I, I, I suspect that compared with the James Bond, he doesn't come off favorably for you. Mm -hmm. and, and largely because, if I remember, he's humorless. Well, I, yeah, it's that. It's it's the Bond franchise stripped of all its charm. Yeah, well, you you wouldn't be surprised to know what he says about James Bond. Oh, brother. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> he says he's repulsive. Bond is an imperialist, misogynist sociopath who goes around betting women and swilling martinis and killing people. Yes, thank God. Which, of course, he does. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, so he's a very conservative guy, and what I love, mm -hmm. what I love is he's very strong about gun control. Yeah. <laughs> in California. Oh, excuse me, what? He's starring in Jason Bourne. I right. saw a few guns in that movie. <laughs> yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of gunplay and film. Um, yeah, he's... He, you know, there's this. Uh, have you ever seen uh, Team America, the um, the puppet comedy? Yes. Okay. And you know he's featured prominently as a that. ridiculous character, who it's Matt Damon. Every time he opens his mouth, just gibberish All comes right. out. All right. And um, he has said, you know, he's a he's a guy. I don't think that is offended by this. Right. But he said that he doesn't understand the depiction, and yet. Somehow it makes perfect sense. Um, he's not a, a stupid guy. He's a smart guy. But I think really what the what they're skewering there is this perfect liberal yes. Hollywood star who's you know always walking the perfect line. You know, putting James Bond down. And, uh, yeah, he's a goody two shoes. Yeah, and, you know, but, and, and and but he did win an Oscar for uh, the screenplay of Good Will Hunting along with yeah, Ben Affleck. Along with ben Affleck. Yeah. Now see, that's an interesting comparison because those careers... They're best buds. Right. And Damon has, like I said, he's managed to just walk that line. He is uh, never, you know, no big scandals. Nobody's ever really cared about who he's dating, who he isn't dating, who he's broken up he's with. He's been married for a while, um, I think. He hasn't made any really egregiously awful films like Ben Affleck. And yet, Ben Affleck's career is much more interesting. I think it's been fascinating to watch Ben Affleck reach his nadir and then, uh, you know, find his way as a director again. And now he's he's Batman. Yeah, you know? and I, I'm not sure Batman helped him a whole oh, lot, I think it, I think but it, it, it gave him range. It, it showed that he was creative enough to do that. But his role in this, like, he's taking on a new role in the... Uh, the DC universe. So he's presumably, I think he's directing one of the Batman, the standalone Batman movie. Um, he's taking a, a hand in writing the Justice League movie. It shows that Warner Brothers, based on his directorial efforts alone, 
like the town oh, and town Argo and uh, what is it, Gone Baby Gone. They see in him a stable guy, like a stable director performer yeah, yeah. that they can go to, and it's an investment. I th that's exciting. And and Damon hasn't yet crossed over into that more creative realm. So he, I haven't seen him do any directing yet. He may have. No, I like what I he. I think he has, but I mean, all right, my nothing that I know about. Right. But he was in Jerry, which I liked very much, mm -hmm. with his good bud Casey Affleck. Yeah. And I thought that this was a, a little bit of a departure for him. And well, at that time, yeah, it was uh, wait, who directed it? It's that uh, Gus Van Sant. Yes, Gus Van Sant. It's a very super low budget. Two guys walking through the no, desert, talking, right? Walking and talking. Yeah. Um, an interesting choice at that time, just to show that he he still had an investment in um, in the world of independent cinema. And you know, he has been in four films by Kevin Smith, which indicates that because one of the things both you and I notice in Jason Bourne mm -hmm. and in many of his other films, he's pretty straight, pretty straight laced. Yeah. Uh, but when you think about Kevin Smith's films, Chasing Amy, Dogma, Jay, and Silent Bob Strike Back and uh, Jersey Girl, oops. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you can see that he has an inclination to, to, to kind of go wild. Yeah, and some of his collaborations with uh, Steven Soderbergh and George Clooney. Right, you yeah, know, Not oceans. always, uh, yeah, but on the smaller scale to um, the Adjustment Bureau. Yeah. Or that's not, I don't know. I don't know if that is. That. Um, who am, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of... Uh, the Departed was Scorsese. Monuments Men. Yeah. Stuff like that. Uh, Interstellar. He was in Interstellar. Oh, was it? a big role. Yeah. Yeah, he was in that. Uh, but he also did Departed. Yeah. The, a fun Scorsese remake right. of that Japanese movie. And the talented Mr. Ripley. Was it Japanese? Is it a Japanese film? Whatever. Uh, talented Mr. Ripley, yeah. Yeah. Possibly miscast in that movie. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, he also was in Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. No perfectly cast in that movie <laughs> yes he did well, he was private ryan wasn't he yeah he's yeah, private ryan i know he is yeah um oh boy well there well, you I go think, i think that you can just feel this conversation out and then you'll get a sense of what matt damon's character is like it, it's kind of boring <laughs> so you're telling me he may he might not he maybe have made a mistake in dropping out of harvard with only 12 credits to go no that is a he <laughs> has made the wise decision well i guess but i would like to see some riskier choices some uh i'd like to see a performance that that goes you know all out i'd like to see something different from him i'd like to he is look i, I can't fault uh, an actor you know i mean even john wayne played genghis khan yeah you know what i mean yeah Take a risk. Yeah. So I, I, somehow in my mind, I think of Kirk Douglas. And I say, he is no Kirk Douglas. Oh, that's true. <laughs>